Thank you to the Society for the opportunity to present our work. Here are our disclosures. Emerging research in general, urologic and gynecologic surgery supports that fewer reoperations and complications occur in patients operated on by surgeons with higher surgical volume. Our primary outcome, our primary objective was to measure the impact of a surgeon's surgical volume on their patient's reoperation rate after mid-urethral sling surgery. Secondary objectives included examining the impact of a surgeon's volume on reoperation for mesh removal and for current stress or incontinence. We performed a retrospective cohort study examining all surgeons performing synthetic mid-urethral sling surgeries for stress or incontinence within a large managed care organization of 4.5 million patients. System patients obtain all he health care, with rare exception, within the system and have a high year-to-year -year retention rate. We utilize procedural codes and diagnostic codes as well as implant registry data to identify the primary procedure as well as reoperations. Here we present our results. 227 surgeons performed 13,404 primary midurethral slings during the study period. Patients had a mean of 4.4 years of follow-up. Higher volume surgeons were defined as those performing greater than 40 midurethral slings during the study period. Those surgeons performed 47% of the surgeries in this cohort. Here we present the risk of reoperation. Patients operated on by higher volume surgeons for their primary midurethral sling had a lower rate of all cause reoperation compared to those operated on by lower volume surgeons. There was no difference in the rate of mesh sling removal in those patients operated on by higher and lower volume surgeons. However, patients operated on by higher volume surgeons had a lower rate of reoperation for a current stress urinary incontinence. Because some factors that may be associated with mesh removal or recurrent stress or incontinence differed between those operated on by higher and lower volume surgeons, we performed modeling with a multivariate regression analysis considering these covariates. We found a lower reoperation risk ratio for higher volume surgeons in this model. In conclusion, reoperation rates after mid or sling are low, higher volume surgeons have lower overall rates of reoperation after mid urethral sling, and the effect is seen most dramatically in reoperation for recurrent stress or incontinence. Higher volume surgeons are 25% less likely to have post operative stress or incontinence leading to reoperation. Mesh litigation and warnings are increasingly impacting the availability of and comfort with mid urethral slings for stress or incontinence. This work adds to the growing literature on safety and efficacy of mid urethral slings and shows that higher volume surgeons had a lower reoperation rate. Thank you. Floor open for discussion. I would like to remind you that uh, I chair another uh, uh, urogynecological session on, uh, on uh, the ICS in Japan. And there were three categories of, uh, of the surgeon in Taiwan. Low volume surgeon doing a, a sling procedure, under 50 per year. Medium, medium volume surgeon, under 50 to 250, and high volume surgeon in Taiwan, more than 300 cases per year. That means, you see, we are an international society with uh, people coming from all over the world, but uh, even though in the uh, United States it's uh, 300 million people, yeah, more, more or, or less. less. Yeah. Okay, you, you can uh, see which is the difference as considered in the United States, uh, high volume surgeon, 40 cases, and in Taiwan, 300 cases per year. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Um, Arnaud Fauconnier from France, nice topic. Uh, very interesting for me, but I have concern about center effect and learning curve effect. How do you take this into account in your model, because as a center effect, you can have low volume surger, surgeon with high volume center. So it may be changed the, the, the risk of complication. Same question for learning curves. You, you may have surgeon who perform little by year, but have a great, great learning curves and other, other case different uh, many years um, 
doesn't happen with high volume, but a learning curve is very important to my mind. Could you explain that? Absolutely. Thank you for the question. Um, those, are, those are two sort of variables we've considered at length. Um, we're going to be exploring both of those variables in future sort of analyses within this study. Um, there is some research on the center concept that you're bringing up, especially in GYN oncology, but also some other fields. Um, the learning curve element as well has been explored, um, and so we look forward to presenting that in the future. Thank you. The last short question. Mauricio Plata, urologist from Colombia. Nice presentation. It's a quick question. Uh, what are the, the, the cutoff value, I mean, the, the main number of cases you need to do until you have complications with your study? As you mentioned, there are several uh, publications on that, but what you found, what was the, the main number you found? Yes, so, and thank you for the question. Um, there was no cutoff in terms of being included in the study. Any surgeon was included, regardless of their minimum, maximum volume, those types of things. Um, and there was no minimum to achieve a complication. We did find, as we presented, that the lower volume surgeons did have higher rates of complications. But other studies, including the group Welk et al. out of Canada, looked at 14 per year. So just back to the first comment, the cutoffs are different um, in different areas. Um, to determine our cutoff of 40 that we used, we used a concept of concentration curves, which are used in sort of business uh, macroeconomics um, in order to look at the data. Um, but others have used standard cutoffs. A recent paper um, looked at um, some other ways of looking at this. So there's different ways to examine the yeah, question. With the numbers you have, you will be able to find it, right? Exactly, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so you. much.